So what's kind of interesting is, I mean, there's nothing in the Constitution that explicitly says that the government couldn't, for each one of the people in this room, post a social capital score. I mean, what constitutional rights might it violate? Well, if they're docking you points for what you say, that might violate your right to freedom of speech. But if the government says, well, we're not, you know, we're just going to dock you points. We're not going to tell anybody what to do with that. We're not punishing you. We're just being an, giving an objective score. Then maybe the government could get away with it. I'm not sure they would, but it, maybe. Then there's privacy. You have privacy rights against the government. But they could say the only things we're reporting are stuff you do in public. You know what you do in the privacy of your own home? We're not going to look at. So, I mean, you know, I can imagine some constitutional arguments that can be made against it, but I don't think any of them is a knockdown, no way, could never happen kind of argument. And I think, as you say, if it worked, if there were evidence this reduced crime, some people might say, yeah, let's try it, especially if you live in a high crime area and you, you don't like crime. So do I think it's probable in the near future? No, because I think for cultural reasons, Americans are scared of the government as big brother, you know, in a George Orwell 1984 sense of big brother. And this is the government as big brother. But is it completely impossible? Or could you imagine like some town trying a pilot program? Can you imagine a high school trying a pilot program? I kind of can. It would be controversial, but you could imagine it being, being tried. I think there's an even harder question which is, what if it was a private company that did it? What if it wasn't the government in the US? What if a private company was just like, I mean, after all, the credit score companies, I mean, you guys are not at stages of life where you have to worry about your credit scores yet, but the second you're like, I want to lease a car, you have to have a credit score. So that might not be infinitely far in some of your futures. So even though this word's credit score may mean nothing to you today, I promise you they will soon enough mean something to you. And the credit scoring companies are private companies. And they know almost all there is to know about you already. And they affect your life hugely. I mean, they literally, you know, two people, you know, pick two random people from this room and walk them into the same dealership and sell them the same car at the exact same price. And then the time comes for them to, you know, figure what their lease payments are going to be. And they're going to get two different lease payments based on their credit scores. The person with a better credit score will have a lower lease payment, full stop. So, you know, it has a huge impact on everybody's life. And it's private, and they know a lot. So you can imagine them saying, well, we're going to expand our categories of information that we know about. You know? And at that point, it would be up to Congress to pass laws saying, you can't actually share that information with other people. Assuming Congress wanted to do that.